Zuleika. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? Well, he is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A uh, glass of water. Please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on earth, and neither should ours. It's not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Can't say I do. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this. Religious debates, not my thing. There's nothing to debate. Those BD studio hyenas convinced Joshua to trade one execution for another. His own crucifixion. He wants everyone to experience his agony, feel his pain and suffering. Why the brain dance? What, what's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. 
about all of you? We should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elomar! Murderer! It's okay, just go! You took my Reuben from me! My child! My son! Let's go back to the car. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. And somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Well, who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. really want to do this? Get nailed to a cross? Yes. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Need psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain, composed entirely of cat shit at this point, he truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm, and one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. Fine. Deal. Very wise choice. Fucking pathetic. Don't follow me in. I'll tell Stevenson you said goodbye. <laughs> 